Hi everyone and welcome back to another video with Glamorous Gems Gourmet Recipes. What's on the menu this morning is breakfast. So what I'm going to be making is um, just a scrambled egg kind of omelet style. So what you want to have here is you want to have um, six eggs. You want to have um, onion, green, and red bell pepper diced up and I've already went ahead and done the pre-work for that. And then what's going to go inside of our eggs is going to be our Colby Jack Monterey cheese here that's shredded, some bacon bits there, and then I also have a um, just some deli style cut um, turkey. And I'm going to go ahead and cut this up in little pieces. So I'll go ahead and do this. Um, definitely, if you love seeing breakfast videos, make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. That way you can be caught up to date every time that I post new videos. I'm going to be trying to post um, probably two to three videos per week, but this week I'll actually have out about four. So, um, well actually, no, this week will be three because today is Saturday, so yeah, it'll probably be about three videos per week. And I'll be doing um, multiple different varieties of food, anything from Caribbean food to breakfast, baking, everything. So definitely you want to subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you can be up to date on all of the videos that I post. So yes, um, we're going to go ahead and get started. So I have my meat cut up here and it just wants to look just like that. So. Once that's done, I'm going to go ahead and start cracking my eggs here. Just for the sake of the video, I'm just making six eggs, using six eggs. But um, you can go ahead and use however much you prefer, depending on um, your size of family that you have. So I have one here. Do you see these little white things that I have the fork on? I always remove those. So I'm going to just take a fork. And I'm going to just remove that and throw it in the sink. I do that every time that I make eggs. Um, I don't know, like if I can't identify it, I don't, I don't use it. <laughs> so I'm a weirdo, y'all. So one thing that I'm going to do is microwave some bacon just to have on the side in the event that, you know, anyone just wants some extra side meat, even though it's going to be plenty of meat in the eggs. So I just normally lay out four strips here and I cover it with just one sheet of paper towel. So I'm gonna put this in the microwave for about a minute and 30 seconds. And you wanna watch it because it, depending on how hot your microwave gets, you can easily burn the bacon. And so now we have my eggs and I have all that yucky stuff removed out of there that I hate. Which So I'm gonna go ahead and add in some pepper. And with this, I just kind of look for the color. I don't really measure like a teaspoon. Because a teaspoon of pepper in six eggs is way too much. Um, and then I'm gonna go ahead and take some sea salt. Be very careful. You do not want to have salty eggs, y'all. It's just not good. So I'm just going to do a few sprinkles of that in here because we want to keep in mind that um, with all of the seasonings and everything that's going in the eggs, um, it's going to be very flavorful. And then I have my evaporated milk carnation, whatever the brand does not matter. You want to make sure you rinse this off with water first before you even open the can. That way any yucky residue or anything is just off of there. So I'm going to go ahead and um, open this up and I'm going to pour this in here. I like my eggs to be nice and whipped and just thick and fluffy and that um, adding the carnation milk you can add regular milk if you prefer but in my opinion regular milk makes the eggs kind of bubbly and I just don't like that um, consistency now I have the eggs exactly how I want them so I'm gonna go ahead and leave those just like that I'm going to take a little bit of olive oil and I'm going to just pour some of that in here and then I'm also going to take a little bit of butter and I need to turn my stove on. I'm probably going to put it on between four and five. And I'm going to take a little bit of room temperature butter. So now what I'm going to go ahead and do is add in all of my peppers and my onions. So I'm going to actually turn my stove up to between five and six. And I'm just going to let these saute around in here. So I'm going to leave these and I will be back in just a moment once I have these um, 
cooking up. And that's some extra bacon, nice and crispy, and um, just simple to make right in your microwave. So, so what I'm gonna do now is stir these around some more. And at this time, I'm gonna go ahead, because they're starting to become a little bit translucent, I'm gonna go ahead and add in my bacon bits. So you only wanna use Oscar Mayer bacon bits. I don't know what bacon bits y'all use, but these are like the best or closest thing that I've seen to bacon. So go ahead and add that. You could also substitute this if you're not into bacon or pork. You know, you hate that swan and that is fine. Um, you could always add in turkey sausage, like the um, sausage, I can't think of the name, the brand, but um, you could just squeeze it out and you can add that in there because this essentially will um, flavor my peppers because peppers are kind of watery tasting. So this is just going to flavor them really well. So now I'm gonna go ahead and add in my turkey meat. I just want this to be nice and warm before I add in my eggs. So I'm gonna, and I want it to indulge in the flavor as well, the peppers and the bacon. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, add that. Add a little bit of pepper there, just a tiny tad. All right. So now I'm gonna bring my heat down to between four and five. I'm gonna bring all of this back in the middle of the pan just like so. And this is exactly how you want it to look. So now we can go ahead and add in our eggs. And I'm just going to pour those eggs right over that. Just like that. And you just wanna spread it around a little bit like that. Okay. So I'm gonna let that just kind of cook up there and I'm gonna add in just a little handful of cheese which will probably be equivalent to a cup of cheese. You can do um, sharp cheddar, but I like Colby Jack and Monterey because it's just a nice even blend. Okay. So now what I'm gonna do is take my eggs and just keep on pulling them apart away from the edge. That's the best way to make eggs. You wanna just continuously push it all in together. So now what I've done is I've just pushed everything to the middle and it's pretty much done. What you can do is just add the lid on here and let it sit. Let it sit for about 10 minutes. So once I have everything plated, I'll come back and just show you the finished product. But I'm gonna just let this sit and I've completely cut my oven off, but I'm gonna let it just sit still on the stove. And here is the finished product. So I've went ahead and plated my son's plate. So this is my rendition of scrambled loaded omelet eggs with bacon on the side. So I hope that you all enjoyed this recipe. Definitely um, let me know if you make it and how it turns out for you. But um, yes, this has been my absolute pleasure making this recipe. And stay tuned for my next video. Bye.